Hey YouTube, so today I'll be reviewing the Fendi By The Way bag in a size small. Uh, prior to purchasing this bag, I looked on YouTube to see if I can find any videos reviewing it and I wasn't really satisfied, so I told myself that I would review the bag um, once I purchased it, just to give you an idea um, in case you're interested and are thinking of getting the bag. So I bought my bag pre-loved on a Canadian website that um, sells pre-loved bags. I really advocate for free love for pre love bags because I think that these bags usually retail for over two thousand dollars, and I really got mine for a steal. And there are no scuffs and no damages or visible damages, so I'm really happy with it. Um, I decided for my first by the way bag that I was gonna get more of like a neutral color. I really love the way Fendi pairs their colors together for the by the way bags. They usually come in, um, each bag has a variety of like three colors. Mine came in like this gray um, mixed with like kind of like a brown um, as the base. And then the top handles are black. And then the little leather piece that hangs in the front, um, the little keychain, is like um, a taupe, like light beige-ish <laughs> type of color. And um, it was important to me to have something that I could wear often. Um, I'll be wearing this bag super often, so I didn't wanna risk it and go with a more daring kind of color, but I think if I were to get another one, it would be um, more like a fun color. So one of my criteria when I buy a bag is that it needs to be versatile. It needs to fit my everyday lifestyle. It can't be a nuisance. It can't, um, I can't like, wear an outfit and be like, oh fuck, it doesn't go with this or whatever. Um, so the thing that I really liked about the Fendi By The Way bag is that it's super versatile. So you can either carry it with the top handle for like a night out, or if you wanna be more casual about it, it comes with a strap that I'll show you. Um, that fits like two sizes. It can either be lower on your body or it can be higher. Um, I'm 5'2", so I usually have it on the smaller setting. So I'll just show you. You hook it on to the sides of the bag and then the top handle kind of, you hook it on and it fits like mid body. And then if you want to have it a little bit longer, then you unsnap the snaps and just adjust it so that it's longer. So that was super neat. Something I really like about the small size and not the mini is that the inside is divided by a little pocket with a zipper, which I'm about to show you. And it's super big, like it fits a lot. Currently, I'm carrying a an iPad, the larger size. So the mini, if you have a mini, like it wouldn't be a problem. My wallet, some keys, my makeup bag, and a couple of little like odds and ends type thing. And this is what the interior looks like. It has a material kind of lining and that says Fendi all over it. It has two little pockets if you wanna put like cards or your business cards. Um, and then the interior pocket is for your more valuable items maybe. You can put your wallet in there or whatever. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And then the, yeah, and then you can kind of divide your belongings and be organized. So I'd really rate this bag like a 10 on 10 as a side bag. I think I'll definitely be purchasing another one, like more of a mini statement piece because yeah, I just really love this bag and I think that it's a great choice for a designer bag like if you wanna purchase something in that price range. So yeah, I give this bag 10 on 10.